What's up, everybody? Twisted look. Whether I wear the mask only in making these videos, never because they say we should. If you'd like to find out why exactly I wear the mask in these videos, check out previous videos that explain that. Uh, so anyway, I already had a bunch of stuff to talk about today. And uh, so I'm going to break it up into a couple videos. So I had a bunch of stuff to talk about before all that craziness last night popped off or early this morning or whatever. If you saw those videos, that was just super crazy creepy eerie um so what i'm finding what i'm hearing now is they're saying um that it was a a gas line owned by florida public utilities that uh ruptured possibly what are you doing guy guys it's like a 49 Chevy here, but he's had his blinker on for a mile and waving out the window. Anyway, um, cool car, slow driver. Um, there's so yeah, it's owned by the public utilities. They're saying it possibly ruptured due to static electricity caused by lightning. Um, but that's a, they're saying that's just a possibility. And they still have to investigate but there was no lightning in the area and th there was something else real weird that happened before this um, so I'll, I'll run through what happened real quick and when I posted those videos last night I just threw them up together I hadn't even watched them first I had no idea what they were like I've since looked at them a little bit so sorry about that as I was driving around looking for the source or trying to get closer I can see and looking at the video, you can't see a whole lot in the parts of the video that I was driving around. Um, you can see some when I was walking around in the neighborhood initially, and then you can see a lot when I, at, toward the end of the video when I got out of the car, out of the truck, but um, so sorry. I didn't know what was going on and I wanted to have video ready and I wanted to just hurry up and get it up quick without editing or anything so I could get it out there. Um, so anyway, I, I was in the house and uh, I heard, I, I don't, I didn't know exactly what it was. In my mind, I just thought it was somebody starting up a loud motorcycle somewhere in the area and kind of holding the throttle open. And I was even thinking, I'm like, geez, who the hell is doing that so loud this late at night? You know, that's kind of rude. Not. You know especially if they live right next door to somebody or something I don't know but then after a, a couple minutes you know I realized it, it sounded like a jet engine like a very loud jet engine just steady like almost as if there was a, a, a very very low flying jet going over the house and was just hovering over the house or over the area so I was like what the hell is this and uh, I grabbed, obviously I started recording when I went outside right away because I had no idea what, what I was going to find. And I can hear it. It's kind of faint in the video, but I, I can hear it when I play the video back. So you can, you can hear it on there. That sound that you're hearing in the background, that, that steady sound, that's not an AC unit or anything. That's what I was hearing. But it was louder in person. Um, so I looked around a little bit and through the trees I saw the sky glowing. And then I walked around uh, a side street to get a better view. And um, I saw that idiot. I wish you could have seen that. I wish the camera was pointing this way. But uh, so I walked around the side and holy crap. What I saw just like, it was like my, my wife mentioned like something out of Armageddon. And that's what a feeling it gave me. I, I can't even describe it, but the whole sky was just lit up and slowly strobing as if there was a strobing sunrise to the west, um, along with this steady sound, the steady jet engine sound. And I could tell whatever it was, it was huge. 
and uh, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't, I had no idea what it was. I didn't know what to do, you know, especially with everything else going on lately, this year, you know, and just everything. I just, you know, and then seeing something like that, that's bigger than me. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's huge. And uh, so I don't know, I, I, I wasn't sure what to do. Obviously, I ended up deciding to um, try to get a little closer to it to try to figure out what was going on. Um, and, and that was even a decision too, because I'm like, what if I can't get back to the house? But I just de I determined that I would get back to the house. Um, like I said, I had no idea what this could be, no clue, and the possibilities are endless. It's nothing like I've ever experienced before. I know that. I've never seen that and heard that before, ever, ever, ever. So I drove a bit closer to it. I, I, uh, before I started driving, I called somebody who I knew was kind of close to the area who had access to a, a tall rooftop. And, uh, I'm thinking he's already going to know, you know, he's already going to know about it. So I called him and as soon as he answered, I said, Hey, what the hell is going on? And he said, what, what are you talking about? And I said, what? don't you because it seemed like from where it was he would be a little closer to it than I was and I said are you outside have you looked at the sky do you hear that and uh, he said what is it it and then he he told me before I told him he told me about something that he saw in the sky a little bit earlier I'll talk about that in a minute because it gets real weird so he told me about this before I said anything. He just said, oh, he's thinking maybe I'm seeing what he saw earlier. So we'll come back to that. Um, so he said, oh, I'll call you back. I'll, I'll, I'll go outside. And, oh, actually, I think he, he went outside as I was on the phone with him. It wasn't the same thing that I'm seeing that he described to me. But we'll talk about that. <laughs> and uh, he goes outside and he says... No, I, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I, I hear... He could hear what he thought was like AC units or something on the roof. Or turbines. He said oh, the turbines on the other roof are gone. I hear that, but that's it. Turns out it, that was the sound. It wasn't what he thought it was. So uh, he said, let me go up on the roof. And we hung up and I started driving, trying to get closer to it. And he called me back. He said, holy crap, I see it. I went around the other side of the building. And yeah, holy shit, the whole sky's lit up. What the hell is going on? And then he's going up on the roof. He hung up again. I wanted to go live from that bridge last night where you saw, you know, the best video. The best part of the video that I had of the fire, the event, whatever it was last night. I wanted to go. That would have been a perfect time to go live. But we're not quite there yet. I got to have, you got to have a thousand subscribers to go live. We are, I do appreciate everybody and I can't believe we're as high as we are already, but I got to get to a thousand, then we can do stuff like that. Um, so that would be awesome. So I didn't get to go live. That would have been cool. I would have been able to show it as it was happening. And I think I was the first to bring it up, but yeah, cause I couldn't find anything anywhere. Social media, mainstream media, I couldn't find anything. And at that time, I got closer to it. I got to the bridge where you saw the video from. And I was just stunned. I don't know what I'm looking at. And it was kind of eerie, too. I mean, it was late at night. Hardly any cars on the road. I didn't hear sirens anywhere. Super eerie. But uh, he, uh, he then called me back again from the roof. And he says, holy crap, it looks like it's in the area of the power plant. And then, uh, yeah, obviously, that's going to be pretty bad if it's the power plant. And then it clicked. Yeah, that is that is about the right direction for the power plant. It looks like about the right distance. Um, so, yeah, so he, he kind of panicked a bit. I kind of, you know, oh, shit. Has the power plant... Today, Junior, has the power plant exploded? That's not good. So I was going to go start getting ready. You know, I've always prepped for 
whatever and we may have to get ready to hurry up and get the hell out of here try to race out of here so on the way back i started calling the sheriff's office and on emergency line figuring they're going to be busy they wouldn't answer the phone for the longest time they finally answered <laughs> and they said yeah yeah we're getting a lot of calls we don't know exactly what it is it's just over the border in seminole county they said it's not the power plant all they know is they think it's propane related so that's all they told me i felt better a bit better knowing it's not or thinking assuming it's not the power plant but still no idea what it was and now today they're saying that about the lightning and all that and that it was uh, shooting fire 200 feet up into the air. And uh, so there was no lightning or storms in the area. They're saying they think it was caused by static electricity, caused by lightning, but there was no storms in the area. Um, no lightning. It was pretty clear, I think. I mean, all those clouds you saw in, the, in that video were created by the fire that we were seeing and it smelled weird too um it had like a didn't smell like melting plastic or burning plastic but it had a plasticky type smell and a bit of it like a i don't know metallic tinge to it but uh so yeah there was no no lightning or anything in the area and i'm gonna go back now to what this guy told me he saw in the sky when i first called him he's because right away he said, oh, is it like a green beam shooting across the sky? Like a sideways meteor? And I, what a random thing to say when I say, do you see this? I, no. Well, where do you get that? He said, because I saw that a little while ago across the sky. It was the craziest thing. And he's not, you know, he's not into the whole, he's, he's the type of person, he's, a, he's all right. He, he, he's a good guy. But he kind of just goes with the flow, whatever. He, he's not one to go dig and find his own truth. You know, I talk to him, we talk, whatever. But he just kind of goes with whatever flow. So, you know, for him, it, he, he's never looking for something in the sky. So he just happened to see this. And he sent me a picture of, uh, not a picture that he took, but after he'd seen it, he started looking for pictures of something similar so he could describe it. And it's like a bright green meteor shooting, you know, across the sky coming downward. But he said it was different than that. He said it looked just like that, but it was very low. He said it was below the clouds and it was going across the sky. Across the sky, not down, but straight across. And he said it was super bright. He said it shot across and looked like it went like a few hundred yards and then just disappeared. And he thought it was super, super strange. So right away, when I called him and said, hey, what the hell's going on? He thought of that because he had just seen that a short time before. And uh, thought that maybe, oh, there's another one or something. I don't know. So um, later when I talked to him again, I tried to get a timeline. Hey, when did you see this? And uh, he saw it just shortly before this started. So... What the hell that was? I have no idea. I would have loved to get video, have gotten video from that, um, even a picture or something. But from his description, that just sounds crazy. A bright green, he said, super bright, below the clouds, not coming down, going straight across the sky, very low, shooting fast across the sky, then disappeared very very strange and then for this to happen in the the same area so and it was the same area it was the same direction he saw that and then this happened so um there was no lightning and they're saying they think it might have been caused static electricity from lightning but there was no lightning and this green thing i have no idea what this was um Put some comments if you have any ideas if you be you know if any of you have seen things like this experience things like this you know put in the comments i don't i don't know i don't know what to think of the whole thing um but it was 
it was a super eerie, creepy thing. And I'm always talking about, you know, hey, we all we prepare, right? We prepare supplies and arms and all these things. And uh, and I always say a, a, a big thing that a lot of people forget: mentally prepare. You got to mentally prepare too, because you got to be ready. And I realized how true that is last night because and it was almost like a dry run this ended up being almost like a dry run you know like a test but um, because it made me realize we don't know it you know if something happens we don't know what it will be we don't know when it will be where it will be how it will be yeah we don't you know it's just gonna happen just like last night just suddenly there's this big crazy creepy sound the sky is glowing. I have no idea what it is, but it's huge. And, oh crap, you know. So, a lot of people would go into panic mode, you know, and freak out. And uh, so that's what, and so that was a good reminder for me too. I'm always saying it, but that's a good reminder for me that it really is important that we, and I, and I have to try harder at it. I see last night that I have to remind myself, you know, mentally prepare we have to mentally prepare for the unknown and be able to respond to it and be ready for it um, however we have to respond we just have to be ready to respond f to it and you know you got to be there to do whatever you got to do to take care of whoever you've got to take care of you got to be able to have things ready I mean if you got to go right away you got to have things ready you got to have bug out bags you have supplies you know if you're gonna bug in ha have your preps whatever this luckily was not Armageddon, but uh, it was a good reminder that we need to be mentally prepared. And that's exactly how, if something were to happen, that's how it's going to happen. No warning, nothing like that. It's just going to pop off. Anyway, I'll be posting some more videos. I got a lot more to talk about. I may have some more updates about this. Um, we'll see. Like it if you want to like it. You know what to do if you don't. Subscribe if you haven't already. Either way. Thanks for watching. Twisted Luck Truth. I'll talk to you soon.